This is a tutorial on how to effectively search within Google Scholar. To start, let's touch on the basics about Google Scholar. Google Scholar is a search engine that specifically uses a resource to find scholarly literature. Among this scholarly literature, there are articles, theses, books, abstracts, and court opinions. Here's how to access Google Scholar. Simply type in www.google.com slash scholar into your address bar. This brings you to the home page. Once you're in Google Scholar, there are various methods that make searching more effective and relevant. If you know a specific article or journal you're searching for, there are two ways to narrow your search. You can do this by searching for the author or the title. In order to search by the author, use the author search operator. We'll start our use with the author search operator by using Professor Bobkowski as an example. In order to narrow our search to articles only written by him, we must type in the word author, followed by a colon, followed by Peter Bobkowski in quotation marks. Another way to search for this is to type author, followed by a colon, followed by the first letter of his name, put in quotation marks. After completing the search, the results all have P. Bobkowski as the author for these sources. In addition, searching with the use of the author search operators decreases the number of results from 2,490 to 31. Another way to search is by the title of the resource. In order to do this, just type in the exact title of the article and put it in quotation marks. For this example, we'll search for one of Professor Bobkowski's articles. So we type this into the search bar and put quotation marks at the beginning and at the end of the title. The search immediately finds the exact article we looked for. In other instances, you may be unaware of the article title or author and you may be conducting a general search. In these cases, you can use the advanced search feature. Advanced search gives you the ability to specify the author, title, and publication fields and limit your search results by date. Access the advanced search feature by clicking the top three bars on the home page. A drop down menu will appear. Within this menu, click Advanced Search. From the advanced search pop up, you can refine results based on these elements. Here's an example of how the advanced search specifies results. Let's say we're conducting a search on nutrition. By searching the word nutrition, we receive roughly 3.9 million results. If we use advanced search, we narrow our results. We specify we want the keyword nutrition in the title. We specify we want the results to be directly from a specific journal or source. In this instance, we'll use the Journal of Food Science. Lastly, we specify the dates that we want our articles from. In this case, we'll use 2017 and 2018 as the date range, so all the results will have been published between 2017 and 2018. Google automatically includes the search operators that are necessary to reduce results. As you can see, by doing this, we decrease the number of results to 44. The results now only include sources that fall within the realm of the things we specified. A problem that can arise from Google Scholar is the inability to access links due to restrictions. To reduce this, there is a library access link feature. This provides a direct link so you can access sources from university libraries. In order to activate this, click the button with three bars in the top left corner of the home page. A drop down menu appears. From the menu, press the button at the bottom of the list titled Settings. This brings you to another web page. From here, press the button on the far left titled Library Links. Once you do this, you'll be taken to a page where you can search for your university's library and activate the link. You are only able to choose up to five libraries. This is what shows up after you activate the libraries. To the far right of your search, there will be a link that says Get At, followed by your university names, and you'll have access to this database and information. This concludes the tutorial on how to effectively search within Google Scholar.